What have you learnt from your audience feedback? In our research for our trailer, we used SurveyMonkey to find out what audiences would like best in our horror trailer. Beforehand, we chose horror as our group had many ideas just for horror films. We asked the audience, do you prefer to see a male or female protagonist in a horror movie? There was an equal amount of people that wanted a male or female in a horror movie. We have learnt from this that no matter what gender of character as the main character in the film will be good as long as they act well. Another question we asked was, what type of horror subgenre is your favourite? This is important to the audience because there are many horrors that are very different, such as a lot of blood or films that affect audiences mentally. For example, the others. Most people said psychological. We learnt from this that our trailer should be in some ways psychological, even though it is quite difficult to do. This was before the trailer was made, so throughout our trailer we had to keep this at the back of our mind. I asked the public what they thought of our trailer. I asked, do you think the trailer met the conventions of a horror trailer? Most people said yes, Girl in the Woods did meet it. However, one person said no. I think this is because the trailer could have been in the dark. This is because most horror trailers would be set in the dark and it's kind of a normality. But obviously we did not have the professional lighting to film in the night. However, we did try and we couldn't really see anything and it looked very unprofessional. The second question was, what elements of the trailer did you enjoy the most? Most people answered suspense. This is because what we were trying to build up actually worked. This is important because our trailer is a horror and needed to build a lot of attention to the audience. The second most answered was the plot of the trailer and what we gave away. This is important within the trailer because if you don't want to give away too much, but you want to give away enough to make the audience want to see the film. Makeup is a very significant part in to any horror film, especially if there is a character in the film who is meant to look significantly different. The makeup was mainly on Abina's character and this took a bit of time to actually put on. I think this got the least votes because the makeup isn't very clear within the trailer, but when seen on the poster the makeup is a lot clearer and the audience can see the detail. We also had to had makeup on Aaron's character. This was a lot more effective in the trailer as there is a close-up to his face and it looks very real and the audience will respond well to this. The third question asked is what can be improved in the trailer? Most of the audience that answered the question said that the fast shots could have been better. This involves cutting down the shots and making them a lot faster which will build more tension and make our trailer potentially better. This makes me learn from the audience feedback that it's very important because we wouldn't have known that our shots should have been a lot faster from if we didn't get this feedback. So it lets us know where we have gone wrong. In the other option, audiences said that the trailer, the storyline could have been a lot better. This could have been better by better planning. The last question we asked was, did the trailer make you want to watch the film? Everyone who answered the questionnaire said yes. This shows that our trailer bit enough tension to make people want to watch the film. We then asked certain people on social networking sites such as Twitter. This included people who used to go to the school to review our trailer and tell us what is good, good about it. I asked Mira Kara who used to go to the school and she said, love the trailer, gave me shivers. This means that the trailer worked and what we were trying to do worked and we were able to build up suspense in the trailer and make the audience want to watch the film. This taught me that audience feedback can be important because when one person gives a response, another person will want to watch the trailer on behalf of what the other person said. Another ex-student from Lampton, Aranjit Sandhu, tweeted, The trailer was good, built a lot of suspense but was slow to start. This was important because suspense is what we were going for. For a horror trailer, however, we said it was a bit slow at the start. This was something we knew as a group and that was a problem and we wanted the shots to be even faster. So this included making the shots literally come in and come straight out. So we had to make it more intense at the start. However, we found this very difficult because we had to cut down our time on more shots and which included more filming. We finished the trailer, then we looked back on it and wanted to add fast shots at the end and make it look more intense and try to build more tension to make people want to watch our trailer. So Aaron just feedback helped a lot because it fitted exactly what we thought the trailer would have been like. We decided to get feedback from two people within our class and see what they thought of it. 
This is their response. I think the trainer was really, really good. If, um, it was clear that the jungle was like through the section yeah, no, 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 no. and the use of the costume and makeup no, 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 no. was really effective uh, because um, oh, yeah, and all the blood okay, as well. That that showed <laughs> what the movie was about and the genre. And um, all the use of camera shots and angles, they came off really effective as well. <laughs> I think the use of doing choosing the location in the forest, especially at daytime, broke the conventions of a horror, that, which is used typically in a dark setting. But um, I thought it worked really well. For our poster, we asked audiences questions about what makes the poster most effective. We asked, what do you expect from a horror film poster? Most of the audience's response was having a close-up of the main character. This told me about the audiences, as they like the posters to be very generic and expected, unlike the trailer. This was important to know when making our poster, because we could use other posters to help our own. We looked at Wrong Turn and The Woods, which helped us a lot because we could look at what they did, include it in ours. We also asked the audiences, what sort of information would you want on the film poster? Most people answered release date. This taught me about the audience that they may look at the poster just to see the release date and they would get a significant part of the poster to know what the film is about. After we created our poster, I asked in my class what my poster, what they thought of my poster and most people's response was that it's very typical for a horror film, which is good because we need to know just from looking at the poster what genre it will be and to see if we're interested. This was important for our audience feedback because we knew if it was a match to our trailer and if it followed the same sort of theme. For our magazine we decided to ask people in our audience what they thought about it and if it was effective like our poster and trailer. We took pictures when with me and Aaron were dressed outside of costume and we thought the audiences would respond well with this because they can see what the characters look outside their role as well and the audience can feel their part of the film and it makes it more personal. We had to take a variety of different pictures of Abina on one side and Aaron on another and vice versa to make sure we could get a professional picture that would look good to the audience and make them want to watch the film. We asked the audience what was the most important feature on a magazine cover. Most of the audience thought that the most important feature is the picture. This is something we had to consider when choosing which picture could fit perfectly into the magazine. The second most, feature to, most important feature to a magazine is the colours. This is what will attract the audience straight away because it will look good from just the colours and this will draw the audience in. I learnt from the audience feedback that the magazine needs to be able to attract you from looking at it straight away, not after looking at the magazine in depth. 